Do you love sharks or want to learn more about them? Do you devour graphic novels? Well, if so, stay tuned because in today's video, I'll be sharing three of my favorite graphic novels, all about sharks. Sharks are amazing creatures. Did you know that a shark's eyes glow in the dark, just like a cat's? And long ago, there was a shark whose dorsal fin was covered in spikes. If you enjoy learning fun facts like these and many more, you'll want to read Science Comics, Sharks, Nature's Perfect Hunter by Joe Flood. This nonfiction graphic novel really digs into the biology and the history of sharks and I would absolutely recommend it to kids who love science and really want to understand why sharks are such amazing creatures. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out other books in the Science Comics series. From the science of sharks to the scientists who study sharks, my next recommendation is Fabian Cousteau Expedition's Great White Shark Adventure by James O. Fraioli. In this book, we join a research team off the coast of South Africa in an area known as Shark Alley. Along with the research team, readers learn all about sharks and lots of other marine creatures, as well as learning how and why researchers tag and track sharks. If you enjoy this book, be sure to check out the others in the series, which explore the Arctic, the Amazon jungle, and Hawaiian sea turtles. This is a great series for kids interested in learning more about the scientists who study aquatic animals. Finally, if sharks are such amazing creatures, why are so many people afraid of them? Well, part of the answer can be found in I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916, the graphic novel adaptation of the popular chapter book by Lauren Tarsius. Set in New Jersey in 1916, it tells the story of a boy named Chet who's trying to make friends with a group of local boys. Unfortunately, a shark attack prank goes horribly wrong, and the boys want nothing to do with Chet. Then, Chet spies a shark in the creek where the boys like to swim. Unfortunately, they don't believe him. Things get even worse when he spies the shark again when his friends are swimming. Will he be able to convince them that there's a shark in the water and get them out before disaster strikes? You'll have to read the book to find out. And when you do, be sure to read The Back Matter to learn even more about the real shark attacks of 1916 and the way that the newspapers and radios sensationalized the story, cementing the idea that sharks were dangerous. And this idea persists even today. So, are sharks amazing creatures who should be studied and admired or dangerous ones who should be feared? We hope you read these graphic novels and decide for yourself. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.